all my beautiful people. This is Dan. And I'm going to make a cicerone. Take out one of these. Make sure it's one, because sometimes it be more than one. Lay it on the table. Get you some rice. And you put it on here. You don't put it all the way to the edge. Just give you a chance to, to roll it up, give you some room. Now, whatever you want to put in your roll, that's what you put here. Now don't go all the way to the end. Leave you some room to work. Now, I got some pozzolano and some cheese. There's a pozzolano and, and then they got some cheese in the middle. I'm gonna put that right there and I'm gonna get another piece. And that's what's going to be in this roll. Now, sushi don't have to be raw fish. That's what some people think, that it's raw fish all the time. Well, you can spread a whole bunch of stuff out of here. But I, since I don't have a whole bunch of stuff right here, I'm going to bring this over some. And since that right here don't have anything on it, I'm going to push it down on the rice. And I'm going to do this by hand. I'm not going to use the little roll-up thing that you use. I'm just going to tighten it like this. Try to show you the simplest way to do this, the easiest way to do it. Tighten it up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Roll. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Roll. Get your little water. Damp right there so it will stick once you get it to the end. And then roll it. And it's a done deal, see? That's a done deal. That's your sushi roll. And you get your knife and find you some decent places to cut it at. Right there. Let me show it to you. Let me show you what's inside this sushi roll. Now this this end piece, see, that's the way that look. So whatever you put in, it could be some celery with some. Um, I'm putting this on this platter so I can eat this on my Tasty Sensation channel. And then turn it upside down so to have that look. You get me? So be sure. So be with me when I eat this on my Tasty Sensation channel. If you don't know what that is, it's going to be in the description box. It's just that simple. I'm going to show you how to make a tuna sushi roll in just a few minutes. Now this is prosciutto and cheese. There we go. Real simple. I figured like this. A one sushi roll like that would cost you about $8. And I love sushi. So 
why not be able to make it yourself? And I'm just showing you that it can be done. And, it, and it's your role. You can put whatever you want in it. If you like shrimp and lobster and all that good stuff, you can put that in there. And it doesn't take that much to put in there. And the rice is simple. Boil you some rice. Put you some rice in a pan. One cup of rice to two cups of water. Drizzle a little oil in your pan, in your, in your water. Pour some salt in there. Not too much, but just enough to season your rice. And broil it. Until all the water boils out of, cover it up with the top. When it gets toward the end, you cut it off. And then you got yourself what you see here. This is my sushi roll. I can put my fingers in it. For you guys that are concerned about that. Willie don't like sushi because of the word sushi. And I try to tell him sushi don't always mean raw fish. I know we as a people, we kind of think sushi mean raw fish. But you can have hot dogs in here. A strip of cheese. Um, like I said, a pack of tuna. Look at this. Watch this. This tuna here I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to open it. It has a little spoon in it, but I'm going to bypass the spoon and go on in here. It smells wonderful, too. Smells wonderful. It's got this kind of Cajun, got a Cajun smell to it. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Go on over there, cover that little piece up right there. Mash that down, the part that, and then squeeze it, shaping it. Turn it. Water. Dab that. It's a done deal. Knife. And look how little rice I used, and look how little meat I used, 
and I got two sushi rolls already on my platter. Look how economical that is. And I haven't used all the meat I got from the Dollar Tree. I want to do some sardines ones. Hold on for a minute. Let me get a can of sardines. Okay, I'm back. I got the sardines. I'm really excited about that one. The sardines part. I really am. All this is mine, so I'm eating it on my eating channel. I'm going to say that again. Oh, that didn't even open right. Love sardines. Very good for you. Now I do have two fish as you can see. I have the tuna and the sardines. happened there. I need to clean the knife. I need to wet the knife off a little bit. But you can't see it. Need something else with it probably. See? That's why I need to rinse my knife off. I need a cup with a, I can dip the knife in and rinse it. Make another one. Let 
me get it, maybe to get off on the rice. If I can do it, honey, anybody can do it. Anybody. Now I'm going to put the rest of these sardines on here. On this one. Just like that. See, that other one wasn't full enough. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. And some Your knife off. Do something hot to eat with this or some uh, soy sauce and have at it baby and that's what I'm gonna do I think I made me four sushi rolls I think that's how many were three to four and this is bad <laughs> And I'd like to thank all you folks for joining me. Don't you forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. So I can come back to you with some more of this foolishness. What you say? Yeah, some big, some little. It's here, honey. I'm finna eat it up, too. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.